Hey guys, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates, and it's been a long time since I've made a video. I really miss making videos. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever it is on the planet that you guys are watching this from. It's good to see you guys, see all your smiling faces. This is going to be a proper workshop update. It's been a long time since I've... It's probably been since the first of the year since I've done any videos on this channel except for shorts. For that, I apologize. This is a Strike King. It's an OEM, original manufacturer, and it is one of the jerk baits. And it's in a very cool, translucent, pink belly, transparent almost, I guess. And this is that ghost thready, little thread fin action here. It's got some pro blue qualities to it. And if you can see, it's got some color shift as well. Some red eyes. Those are from Dead Meat. He's got some smaller eyes going on. I love Dead Meat Custom Eyes. They're fantastic on swim baits. Um, sometimes the sizing is slightly off from industry standard sizes, so it's a little difficult unless you're custom fitting the eyes and drilling your own sockets with them. Sometimes the size of the, the eyes are slightly larger, slightly smaller, than what most pre-manufactured baits have. So that's something that you have to look out for. But as far as the quality of the eye and the type of selection that you get from him, it's out of this world. So love his eyes. Just a little bit easier to use on the, uh, on the swim baits, on resin swim baits. Some that do work and do translate pretty well are his natural series. And I've got some Magnum jerk baits today. I love jerk baits in the summertime, and I also love them in the spring on pre-spawn. So pretty much from dead of winter all the way through, jerk bait is pretty much an open season, all season bait for me. It's it's been one of my go confidence go tos, and I love using them. This is an olive back shad with a bone belly. This is not a transparent color. It's got a little bit of color shift on it. And that green on the back. And then my original version of a Pro Blue with a little bit of orange on the throat. Some people do not use the orange on the throat. I like to just for a target. If they're coming up from under, underneath of it, sometimes that does help for the fish to see it. So just going to go through, run through what I've got here in the shop. This is a little bit different. This is almost like that matte shad, although it would not be clear coated in this fashion. It would be a flat clear if it were a true matte shad. And then just kind of faded that hex scale right into the background on that. This is also a dead meat custom eye. Love, love, love some of the stuff that he's got in the collection for bigger baits. Got a really cool hot pink. few versions of this. This is also a good small and spot color. You can see some of them are very transparent in the belly. And I don't know if you guys remember our beautiful pearl bone, the baby bull shad. These are my colorway now in these Magnum Jerks. So I just kind of transferred it from this over to here. So you can definitely see the resemblance. It's a little more subtle. I didn't hit it with quite as much pearl on this one as we did when we designed these. But just a beautiful interpretation into a jerk bait. Nice loud rattle in these. Just a ton of fun making them the last few days. So this is how that red horse, it's a river red horse, how that came out. I did my own eyes on this. And then when you get up on it, you can see there's a lot of depth in here. And that's just done by layering your stencil. 
So you start out with a black, and then you come over it with gold, and when you hit the second layer on stencil, you're just sliding that back. If you guys want, I will do my very best to get some spray sessions out. I know I keep promising and threatening, um, but it is coming, I promise. And I'm probably just going to load up one week and just do a bunch of them. When I can find the time that I'm not obligated through contractual stuff with various people, this is also a really cool almost like a matte love the coloring on this just a little bit of color shift pink over top of that raw umber just a little bit of pearl white on the sides and then super clear on the belly disco has always been it's a fun pattern for me but um much like mike I'm not a huge fan of that bright, long, huge, thick stripe of yellow or fluorescent chartreuse. Um, so I just kind of dropped it to the bottom on this. But it's got lots of disco ball quality too. Lots of sparkle in there. A little bit darker with a whole lot of sparkle in it. Probably one of my favorite glitter hot pinks, like a pink asagi, something similar. Also, Dead Meat Custom Eyes. The thread fin, that little pale yellow down the sides on this. It's not as loud as the fluorescent yellow in the throat. And that beautiful pearl powder blue. Just that blue blush color shift on top with a bone base. And I dropped in some real light, super, super light gray shading just to get that color shift to pop real nice. Bullshad is famous for using that old weathered bone look. Does very nicely on these baits. Got a nice representation of a gizzard through a little bit of copper and gold in the gill plates. Got just a little bit of green. Lots of pearl white. Just a sharp looking bait. A little dirty as far as like modeling up into the face. Just a super pretty bait. I know if a lot of you guys um, remember back in the day, I used to do wild, wild abstract stuff. And uh, over the years, I've come to appreciate the cleanness of a good looking bait. It's just a silver running up into a color shift red purple. Fun with that too. Had a little fun with this. This is Mike's Balsa Bowl. Um, these are not available on the market. I was luckily, he was gracious enough to get me one when, uh, when I first came from Arkansas. So I've changed patterns on this a few times. Now being that this is a wooden bait, it's weighted specifically to float at a certain angle with, you know, kind of like that with the head being up slightly. So when I do change patterns on this, I usually take all everything off of it. The original uh, bait was foiled, but we have so many five line skinks around the area, especially if it's uh, like a shallow pond, farm pond, creek sides. So this is just my interpretation of the five line skink. A little bit of pink on the belly in color shift, pink and green. And then 
There we go. Spot tail minnow. One of the first ones I ever did on this also has some color shift in it. And yet another pink with a little bit more gold in the throat. Did not skimp on saving the best for last. So I'm doing a few of these hinkles. You can see the hinkle in the background. That was the tease for the entire video. I've got this really pretty foiled. It's like a foiled, but so these are chromed. You can see the chrome very prominently in the belly. And they are chromed. The entire bait is chromed and then using really light layers of candies and transparents, some lacquer paints over top of that chrome, really, really has brought out that match the hatch gizzard. Just really, really had fun with these. These are for John Cruz, and he did allow me to say it. Normally, if, um, if I'm doing stuff for people and they don't want me to say who it's for or what it's for, I do not. And I will not. But he uh, he gave me carp launch to post it, say it. So I wanted to put it in this video. These are hinkles. Just really, really pretty gizzards. Put that red on the throat for him. Just a little bit of red at the tail. And then you can see that chrome. Super shiny in the background. And then, last but absolutely not least, this is that Hinkle Trout. I'll try and bring that up closely if I can. And you can really see the depth in this. Super happy with the way these came out. That chrome belly. The entire, again, the entire bait is chromed. So. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. It's good to be back. I promise I have not left this channel. Don't give up on me. It's, uh, life is just insane for me these days. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure you guys are taken care of. I do miss you. I promise there's going to be stuff coming. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Happy casting. Cheers from Jekyll Bates. So for those of you out in Braves country, wherever it is you are on the planet, if you guys are an Atlanta Braves fan, this is something that I have worked up for Ozzy Albies. I don't think that he knows he's getting it yet, so shh, don't tell him. Um, he is known as Aquaman here in Georgia. He's got multiple fish tanks and just loves fish as much as he loves baseball. So I wanted to uh, do something a little special for him because if you know anything about Ozzy and his wife, they love charitable events and they have a fantastic, fantastic uh, organization called the Ozzy Albies Foundation. And it is for shelter pets, specifically dogs that need to be rehomed into forever homes that have been neglected, abused, just there's so many pets in the world, y'all, that need your help, and that is one of his passions. So as a thanks to him, wanted to, for all of his good work and good deeds, wanted to do something nice for him. So this is the finished product that's going to be going out to him, and uh, hopefully, hopefully he'll throw it. I know he wants to learn how to fish, but... Um, I don't know that he fishes now. I've heard maybe he fishes, but uh, I know he's also looking for a few new fish for his aquarium. So hopefully that can happen sometime in the near future. But Ozzy Albies, this is for you. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, cheers from Jekyll Bates.